Hello everybody, it's your boy Andrew. Thanks for tuning in again to see more of this build up with the SC300. Today what I'm working on is installing this charger uh, inside of the armrest. So in order to do this, I'm going to dremel a hole here so that it looks nice and clean. And I'll have my smartphone or whatever it is, usually my smartphone charging inside of the armrest. Then obviously the red is the 12 volt power and the black is the ground wire. Now for the life of me, I don't know why I have this plug. That off. And tap into the OEM cigarette lighters. How it sort of switches, right? It's this blue, blue one right here. OEM. Now, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because my phone has Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth telephone calls, so I don't need to look at my phone. So if it's inside the armrest, you know, the temptation to touch the phone while driving is not there. And in New York, where I'm, where I'm living currently, um, the police make a big deal. You get a pretty fat ticket if you're caught on the phone at all. So you definitely want to avoid that. So I got my boy Steve with me today. He's upstairs. He's going to come out and give me a hand. And whenever he's here, the installs go just right. I don't know what it is. That's my right hand man when it comes to hooking things up. So um, if you have an SC300 that's five speed, you know that the stock cigarette lighter, there's a little ashtray next to it. Now, most phones that have a Galaxy S5, it doesn't fit inside of uh, the ashtray. Like, I can't let it sit there while it's charging. And then I can't put it here because the factory shift boot is here. And um, what ends up happening is you got the ugly cord going from there all the way in here then you have that it just doesn't look clean it's like an eyesore so now I'll be able to keep the ashtray closed and everything will be looking clean and neat while you know while the phone is charging so that would be good now I actually have no intention of using the factory cigarette lighter anymore once this is set up I don't smoke um, and for the most part the only thing I will be using it would be for um, a smartphone so that's today's modification and uh, my buddy Brian Garcia lent me a Dremel so I'm gonna take this out there's a fake floor on this what I mean by fake floor is like this flimsy this flimsy thing here this one's shot from being so old my car's a 92 so there's three bolts one two three ten millimeter and then there's two screws here and then you take all this out and bring this inside him and I are going to drumble the hole, put it back in, and then bam, we'll just fit this clean guy in here, right through there, run the wire through here, and I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to do the honors of the Dremel now that we have the circle. I don't have experience with Dremel. <laughs> Dremel is Dremel. All right, I'll give it a shot. I'll do this for every SC owner that's ever gotten pissed off that their charger has been in the way of them shifting and their phone has been on their lap. I have no idea with this part why it's like this, but um, I got this charger on eBay and it was uh, 14 bucks, but it has the wire already ran and it also has a fuse, right? It has a fuse. Am I going crazy? Yeah, there's a little fuse on it. Bam. And then what, what really gets me, kid, is that there's two different like versions of the five volt so i guess like smartphones only go in the high volt one i have no idea but it is what it is so my man steve said that we're going to smooth out the hole the hole's going to go right here so should we actually use this to make the circle with this uh, look this is rubber you can pull this out you can use this it's perfect Sorry guys, we're gonna use this rubber. We're gonna use a rubber. And by the way, this is Steve. Say hi to YouTube for the first time. We have no idea we're gonna call this car page, but all we do is talk about cars all the time. And we're gonna do some cool mods. This is mod number one. So we'll get back at you guys. <laughs> guys, show them how you got the punch it. So we were having trouble with the Dremel, but if you beat it that if you beat it. It works. <laughs> right. I can't. I can't. Yo, show everybody the little thing on it that says do not remove on both sides. <laughs> Why? Why? 
It's just like a little, like a little, mm. a little thing on it. <laughs> Do not remove. <laughs> Why? What is it? All right, we're gonna cut that plastic out now. Why are we, we're having two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's make this happen. So let's move it to that wall, actually. Here's the end result. We got it in nice and tight. And then on this side, this is it coming out. So if you pull this up, of course. Damn, you got it exposed in there. And then we gotta put the little fake carpet floor here and clean it up a little bit and it will be looking good. Whoa! My man Steve, we did it. We dremeled it a million times, but there it is. There it is, a 92 with all the Different things that you find in a brand new car. Cigarette charger, backup cam well, backup camera I messed up on. We gotta do another attempt at that, but everything else. Hmm. Wonder why my phone is charging. What? There's a charger inside of the armrest with an LED indicator light and two USB ports? Incredible! I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it in an SC300, especially one from 1992. And cleverly, the power and the ground wire is wired up to where the existing power and ground supply is to the cigarette lighter that came with the car. Sick!